Hi everyone, this is Galen Martling. Today I'm here with Unity Stamp Company and I have a beautiful floral slimline card. It's actually a mini slimline card. I'm using watercolor with pearlescent sheen to it. It's pearlescent watercolors and it's sort of like a metallic look and it's going to be really pretty on these flowers. Now, sometimes with pearlescent or metallic watercolor, it looks more vibrant on black cardstock or black watercolor paper. But today we're using white cardstock watercolor paper. And so I wanted to show the difference between one I did in the past on black cardstock versus using these pearlescent colors on white. It shows up nicely and more soft on white cardstock. If you want a more vibrant look, you can use a darker color cardstock or a thick regular color cardstock for the watercolor. So I am using a brush with water added and then I dip it into uh, the color medium that I want, the colors that I want. I'm sorry that I can't show the full palette set here, but I wanted to focus more on the actual stamping and coloring the stamping. But these are Fine Tech Pearlescent colors, watercolor set of 24. But uh, they do come in smaller sets if you'd like. But this is really, really nice. I like it. I had some gold only colors and I wanted to add to them because I think this is a fun technique to use more for watercolor. So now I have um, flowers and the first flower I colored in more of a rose uh, and I outlined it in pink and the second one here is going to be in I started with very dark purple color and then I just added water to move that color out a little bit. You'll notice these do not blend as easily as regular watercolors do. They tend to um, just want to clump together there and have that um, dark shade throughout but you can remove some of the color and so if you dampen your if you blot your uh, wa your uh, wet brush onto a paper towel and then move that color over the watercolor or that paint that uh, brush over the watercolor it will remove some of the color while the watercolor is still wet so you can play around with it and try to uh, add shading or highlights and then if you don't like it you can always go over it with another color or more of the same color to brighten it. So there's um, lots of ways you can play with this um, to make it kind of what you want. So I'm using two different color golds here, um, a darker gold for that center flower and the brighter gold for those dots just to give it some some extra accent. You can add water also to here I am adding uh, a damp brush to remove some of that purple around the edges. I wanted some sort of a highlight. And so I find that with these, if you take a brush that's still damp and you move it around the color, it does take it off if you blot it back onto the paper towel. And so that's what I wanted. I wanted a light look for this. Using the white watercolor paper really helps with getting that light look, soft look, if you will. You can see it, it still shimmers nice. It shimmers even on white cardstock. So I'm adding very pale mint color there to the leaves. And all of this is going to be dried completely. I used a heat tool, but you can set it to dry uh, on its own if you have time. Now, to add more gold, I added some to the center of the flowers and then I blotted off a little bit of that color so you can still see the detail in the stamping. And it still shimmers. When it's dry, it does shimmer nicely as well. This is what it looks like on black. It's a totally different look if you use different colors on black versus white. But I wanted a soft card, so this turned out just the way I needed it to. Now I just added a little bit of white detail with a pen on the centers of the flowers. Then I die cut them with my favorite things dies and layered it all up onto the mini slimline card base that I prepared. 
And there you go. It's really fun to do. Thanks so much for watching and please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube and have a great day.